Okay, so welcome na nga master. No, sa video ng ito ay ating um, isosolve ang mga problems, no, mga similar problems na katulad ng mga lumabas sa uh, mga previous na RMA board exam. Okay, so binamano tayo sa ating unang problem. So we have find the cost of running a 100 watt 220 volt lamp for 20 hours at 3 pesos per kilowatt hour. Okay, so dito is hahanapin natin kung um, ano yung uh, ano yung cost no ng ano isang 100 watt 220 lamp na kung sa pinainaw natin ng 20 hours na ang kanyang presyo no ng presyo ng per kilowatt hour is 3 pesos okay so this is just a uh, basic no basic na pagsusolve ng uh, kilowatt hour no? solution no? una kukunin natin yung kilowatt hour no so uh, ang sinosolve natin dyan is the electrical energy, no? So, the electrical energy is equal to the power times the time, no? So, yung time natin dito, no? So, our time here is in hours, no? Dapat naka-hours. Para yung, yung ating energy, no? Is equal to kilowatt hour, no? So, uh, Diba? Di, isa sa so formula ito is not kilowatt hour but only watt hour. No? Pag gusto nating gawing kilowatt hour, so i-divide natin yan ng 1,000. So, para ito maging kilowatt hour. Okay? So, i-substitute na natin yung given natin. No? So, we have our power is 100 watts no? times 20 hours. So, divide 1,000. So, our answer will be in kilowatt, no? Kilowatt hours. So, we have 100 times 20, no? Okay, equals, divide 1,000. So, we have 2 kilowatt hour, no? So, 2 kilowatt hours, no? So, para maku makuha natin yung cost, no? So, yung cost, equal yan siya sa ating energy tapos yung uh, times price natin no times yung price or price per kilowatt hour so yung ating energy is 2 kilowatt hour okay 2 kilowatt hour tapos yung ating price is 3 pesos per kilowatt hour so cancel natin yung kilowatt hour so matitira na unit sa atin is in pesos so you have 2 times 3 so that will be 6 no 6 pesos no? so our answer is letter a no so ganyan lang no so all you need to do is to find the kilowatt hour then um i multiply natin sa price per kilowatt hour okay, next so a wire has a diameter of 0 0.125 inch no what is the cross sectional area in circular mills. So, meron daw tayong wire na ang diameter is 0 0.125 inch. Ano daw ang kanyang cross-sectional area? No? Kanyang area in circular mills. So, una, kailangan muna nating i-convert yung ating inch into mill. No? Solution. Yan. Okay. So, alam natin na ang 1 mill is equal to 1 over 1,000 of an inch, no? So, ito lang. Ito yung gamitin natin to convert. So, convert muna natin yung ating 0 0.25 inch into mil. So, we have 0 0.125 inch. Okay. Tapos, yung ating uh, 1 mil, ito lang yung L sa mil, is equal to 1 over 1,000 inch. O, mayayari dito, yung ating 1,000 kasi nasa babato ng fraction, so reciprocal. So, we have 0 0.125 inch times 1,000 mil over 1 inch. No? So, from this, pwede natin sabihin na kapag binaliktad natin itong uh, conversion factor na to yung ating 1 inch 
is equal to 1,000 min. Pwede na natin gamitin ito agad-agad na conversion factor. Okay? So, i-calculate natin yan. We have... We have 0.125, no? Tapos, times 1,000, okay? So, we have 125, no? 125 mil, no? So, para makuha natin yung circular mil, no? From the formula, Circular mean is equal to D squared. Yung D natin dito, this is the diameter of the wire. Diameter of the of the wire in mils. No? So, dapat kapag ginamit natin ito na formula, dapat yung D natin, ang unit ng ating D or the diameter of the wire is in mils. So, we have, ito na yung ano, ano natin, diameter natin. No? So, we have 125 no? So, that will be our circular mean. No? So, you have 125 squared. So, that will be equal to 15625. No? You have 15625 or 15,625 no? mil. Ah, no. Hindi pala mil, but circular mil. No? is CM. Diba? Hindi ko ma-delete yung ano ka unit. Yan. Circular mean. No? So, the correct answer is letter C. Okay? Next. So, what resistance must be connected across a 4 ohm resistance um, in order to give an equivalent resistance of 3 ohms? No? So, Nahanap natin dito is yung resistance na kailangan natin i-connect across ating 4 ohms to get a resistance of a total resistance of 3 ohms. This is uh, parallel circuit no or, or parallel resistor kasi yung term na across ibig sabihin niyan parallel, no? So solution. So una uh, siguro gawin natin yung ano, yung ating diagram, no? Circuit diagram. Okay. So for example or for Assuming, no? Ito yung ating 4 ohms. Okay. Tapos, ito yung ating R na resistance. No? Ito yung hinahanap natin na resistance. Okay. So, yung ating R equivalent or RE. So, ito yung masasabi natin the total. Yan yung dalawang to, no? So, using the formula for uh, resistors connected in parallel, no? Lagyan na natin ito ng ano ito yung ating R1 habang ito naman yung R2 no para madali natin hindi na siguro gawin itong R no hindi natin gawin R2 para hindi na mag gumobble yung ano natin um, variable no okay so we have R equivalent no that is equal to um equal yan siya sa 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 1 over R lang pala, no? Kasi yung R2 natin equal to R, no? 1 over R, tapos naka, ano pa siya, reciprocal. So, simplify natin dito sa loob, no? Getting the common denominator, so that is R1 times R, tapos taas R plus R1, no? Tapos atin yung i-reciprocal, okay? So, we have... R1 times R over R plus R1. No? So, ito hindi to R2 but R1. So, ito na yung ating R equivalent. No? So, ang gagawin natin dito ngayon is we substitute the given. No? So, yung ating R equivalent, no? tingnan natin sa ating ano, problem. Okay. So, ating R equivalent, so this is equal to 3 ohms. Habang yung ating namang R, no? R1 natin, this is 4 ohms. So, substitute natin yan. So, we have here 3 ohms. This is equal to yung R1 natin. So, ito yung 4 times R over R. Yung R1 natin is 4. No? So, dito, medyo sa so part na to, we will be now be using algebra. No? 
So, ito, ilipat natin sa kabila. No? So, that will be 3 times R plus 4 is equal to 4R. No? So, we will distribute our 3 no? inside ng ating ano, R, R1 plus 4. So, we have 3R plus 12 is equal to 4R. Now, ang gagawin natin, ipagsasama natin lahat ng mga terms no, na may R. So, itong 3R, ililipat natin sa kabila. So, we have 12 minus is, uh, is equal to 4R. So, ito, paglipat sa kabila, magiging negative yan. Minus 3R. Okay? So, we have 12 is equal to 4 minus 3. That will be R. So, yung ating R, o yung ating i-connect across the 4 ohm resistor, must be 12 ohms. No? So, the correct answer is 12 ohms. Ohms. Okay? So, basic nyo na, no? Basic na uh, parallel resistor connected, no? Uh, two parallel resistor connected, no? Nakakonect siya in parallel. No? So, dapat alam natin yung ano yung formula for parallel resistors. Okay? Next problem. Okay. So, two resistances of 8 and 10 ohms respectively are connected in parallel and take a total current of 9 amperes. So, what is the current flowing in the 8 ohm resistor? Okay. So, solution. So, ang hinahanap natin dito is yung current sa ating 8 ohms. So, before that, we will be sketching the diagram, no? Okay. Tapos, kasunod dito. Ayan. So, ito yung ating 10 ohms. No? Ito yung ang ating 8 ohms. So, this is, uh, maybe we we'll, uh, have this one as R1. Habang ito naman is R2. Then, we have a total uh, current here. no? So, that is our IT equal to 9 amperes. So, dito, meron tayo ditong I1, tapos dito naman meron tayong I2. So, ang hahanapin natin, so that is the current flowing on the 8 ohm resistance. So, ito. Ano yung current na nag-flow dito sa branch na to na may 8 ohm? So, sa ating diagram, that will be I1. So, we will be looking for I1. no? So, ito, we could solve this one uh, using the uh, uh, common ano, na uh, way na pagsasolve ng parallel circuit. Ang unang Tapos ang gagawin nito is kukunin yung equivalent resistance tapos um, i-multiply sa ating 9 ohm na uh, 9 ampere na current para makuha yung voltage dito. So if ano yung voltage dito, so ito na rin yung voltage per branches and we can now solve for the current in each branch, no? But the uh, the easiest way to do this or the fastest way to do this is by using CDT, no? Or the current division Okay, division theorem. So, paano ba yung current division theorem, no? So, yung current division theorem, kunyari, yung kukunin natin is yung I1, no? So, I1. So, I1 will be equal to yung total current times the resistance opposite to I1, which is the 10 ohm. So, that will be our R2 over the sum of the resist resistances. R1 plus R2, no? Kunyari, yung I2 yung hanapin. Yung current na nasa 10 ohm resistor. So, kung yan dyan, I2 is equal to I total times yung resistance na opposite ng ating I2, which is 8, no? Or R1 for our diagram. R1 over sa total din resistance. R1 plus R2. No? For this problem, yung hinahanap natin is I1. So, ito yung gagamitin natin na formula. Take note, the current division theorem is only applicable. So, ito'y magagamit, magagamit nyo lamang for two resistors no? in parallel. So, what if lumagpas na ng two resistors? So, the best thing to do is to simplify the parallel circuit hanggang dalawang resistor na lang ang matira. And then, you can now solve for the uh, current of the required branch. No? Yung required na current sa mga branches. Okay, so ang gagamitin natin ang formula is ito, yung 4I1. 
So, I1 is equal to, yung I total natin is 9 amperes. Okay? Yung ating R2 is 10 amperes. At ah, 10 ohms pala, no? Tapos, yung R1 is 8 ohms plus 10 ohms. Okay? So, i-calculate na natin yan, no? Or, yun mula. So, i na natin. So, 9 times 10, that will be 90 over, so ito may yung case dito, 90 ohm, uh, ampere ohm, no? Tapos, 10, uh, 8 plus 10, that will be 18 ohms. So, mayayari, makakancel na natin yung ohm. So, ang matitira na unit is amperes, no? Okay. So, calculators, you have 90 divide 18. Okay. This will be equal to 5. So, yung, yung ating current I1 is 5 amperes. No? So, that will be letter A. Okay, next. So, an electric iron takes 3 and 1 half ampere. If the heating element has a resistance of 40 ohms, what is what is its power consumption? Okay, solution. No? So, this is basic power formula and ohms law. No? So, yung ating power, so that is the voltage times the current. No? At this instance, hindi given yung voltage natin. No? Hindi yung given yung voltage natin. No? But we have our current and resistance. So, ating gagawin natin is we will try to make, no? Ang ating gagawin is we will have our voltage in terms of current and resistance. So, parang ano siya? Parang product siya ng uh, voltage, uh, ng current and resistance yung ating voltage. So, paano yan? So, by using Ohm's Law. So, alam natin na yung Ohm's Law is I is equals to V over R, no? So, kapag di pala to V but E no sa si voltage okay E so kapag ang ginawa natin is we are going to find the voltage so ang gagawin natin itong R ilipat din sa kabila so we have E times R is uh, I times R is equal to E ito na yung ating voltage so itong E dito similar dito sa E na nasa ating power formula so e, yung E natin dito na is equals to I times R, pwede pala natin gawin I times R din dito. So, mangyayari, we have I times R times I. So, I times I, so that will be I squared times R. So, ito na yung formula natin for power. no? So, there is another way for that, yung paggamit natin ng Ohm's Law Triangle. no? So, maybe we'll solve that one also sa problem na ito. No? The, the final solution natin. This, uh, this, this is the... Mathematical method, habang yung isa naman is the, the, ano, the using the Ohm's triangle, the power triangle. Okay? So, yung power natin is equal to I squared, wherein our I is 3.5 or 3 and 1 half, no? 3.5 amperes squared. Tapos, yung R natin is equal to 40 ohms. Then, as you notice, yung lahat ng ating mga choices are in a are in kilowatts. So, ang gagawin natin, divide 1,000. No? Okay, so we have 3.5 squared times 40. No? Tapos, divide 1,000. So, we have, so itong answer natin is, in, is now in kilowatts. So, that is 0 0.49. So, we have 0 0.49 kilowatts. And that will be letter letter B no, sa ating problem. Okay. okay. So, how about another another solution no, using the Ohm's Law? No? Another solution. The Ohm's Law triangle and the power triangle. Okay. So, ang gagawin natin is you must create a triangle. No? Pinakauna is the Ohm's Law triangle. Oh, no, the power, the power triangle kasi power yung kailangan natin. So, we have the power triangle. So, this will be uh, P. Ito yung P natin. Ito yung E. Tapos, ito yung I. So, ang gagawin natin is we are looking for the power. So, tatakpan natin to. So, ang matitira is E times I. No? Okay. So, P is equal to E times I. No? Tapos, dito naman, sa kabila, kasi wala, sa given, wala tayong E. No? So, kaya kailangan natin yung Ohm's Law Triangle. No? Okay. Yan. So, dito yung E, dito yung I, tapos dito yung R. Ito yung Ohm's Law Triangle. 
Okay, so tatakpan natin yung E kasi yan yung kakailangan natin. So that will be I times R. No? So E is equal to I times R. So isolve natin yung E. So meron tayong ditong uh, 3.5 no? for the given to. No? 3.5 amperes times ano yung ating ano? Ohm. So 40 ohms. Okay, 40 ohms. Okay, so we have 3.5 times 40. So, this will be equal to 140. So, 140 volts. So, itong E na to, isubstitute na natin dito. So, we have 140 volts times 3.5 amperes. So, mayroon na tayong watts. Kaso lang, yung choices is naka kilowatts. So, dapat divide 1,000. Okay? So we have 140 times 3.5 okay, divide 1000. Okay, so we have 0 0.49. So we have 0 0.49 kilowatts. So ito na yung answer natin. So two solutions, the same answer. So kung alin yung tingin nyo na mas madali para sa inyo, so yun yung sundin nyo na solution. Okay? Okay, next. No? So we have two resistances, okay? uh, two resistors of 5 ohms and 3 ohms are connected in series across a 660 volt source. So what is the power absorbed in the 5 ohm uh, resistor? So ano da yung na absorb sa ating 5 ohm resistor? So is it 50 watts, 25 watts, 125 watts or 100 watts. Okay, solution. Okay. So, ang unang gawin natin dito is to create the circuit diagram. No? So, meron tayong source no? which is 60 volts. No? Tapos, meron tayong isang resistor dito. So, kasi dalawang resistor yan eh. Connected in series. So, yung isa is 5 ohms. So, no? yung lang isa naman is 7 ohms. So, we will call this one as our R1. Abang ito naman is R2. So, syempre, meron tayong current no? na mag-flow sa ating circuit. We call that one as I. Abang dito naman sa per resistor, meron tayong mga voltage drop. No? This will be V1. Ano? Hindi tayo gabitin yung V kasi para hindi tayo dito sa, mga, sa unit between voltage. No? So, this is E sub 1, ang pag dito naman, so plus minus E sub 2. No? The required is kung ano yung power dito sa ating 5 ohm na resistor. No? 5 ohm na resistor. Okay. So, solution natin dyan is first, we, could, we will try to get first the total current. No? Total current. Okay. Solution. Ay, na, tapos pala. So, tapla ako ng solution. Ayan. Okay. Total current. So, I, itong I na to is equal to our source. No? Source para hindi ko nalagyan ng ano. So, this will be our ET. No? So, this will, so, I is equals to nangyari. Okay. So, this is equal to E over T times RT. Okay, so our uh, total voltage, that will be the voltage source, which is 60 volts. Habang yung ating R total, so sum lang yan ng dalawa kasi naka-series to eh. Kapag series, so ito total lang natin yung kanilang mga resistances. So that will be R1 plus R2. So we have 60 volts over 5 ohms plus 7 ohms. So we have 60 volts over 12 ohms. So we have... 60 divide 12. So, this will be equal to 5 amperes. No? 5 amperes. So, we have now our 5 amperes. So, we will get now the power. So, power is equal to voltage times the current. No? Voltage times the current. Habang yung power na dito, this will be P1. Habang ito naman, this will be E1 habang ito 
I1. Pero yung I sa series circuit is the same throughout, no? throughout the circuit. So, ito, pwede rin ito maging I. Or, just, or this is just equal to I. Ang tanong is, paano natin kukunin yung ating um, E? No? From the previous problem, no? so alam natin na eh, this will be yung E natin, or yung voltage natin is equal to the current times the resistance. Kasi ito E sub 1, so ang, resi ang resistance natin ito is R sub 1 times I. No? So, voltage is equal to I times R, kaso yung ating voltage dito is sub 1. So, meaning ito yung voltage drop nandito sa ating resistance 1. So, kaya pagdating dito, yung ating R is sub 1. So, we have I squared times R1. So, our R is 5 amperes squared. Tapos, yung ano naman natin, yung ating resistance, R1 is 5 ohms. Okay? So, we have 5 squared times 5. So, we have 125. So, we have 125 watts. Which is letter C. No? Yung ating sagot is letter C. Okay. Okay. So, next question natin. No? Okay. So, a secondary cell is charged with a constant current of 10 amperes for 10 hours. So, how much is the charge accumulated? Okay. So, solution. So, ang ating hinahanap natin dito is now the charge. So, we know that current is equal to charge. So, ito yung symbol for charge over T. Or T is our time. No? Yung time natin dito or T natin is in seconds. No? In our uh, problem, no? our I is equal to 10 amperes. Yung T natin is 10 hours. So, kailangan natin i-convert to into Second, so we know that um, 3,600 seconds is equal to 1 R. No? Kaya 3,600 to kasi in 1 R merong 60 seconds. Tapos, ah, 60 minutes. Tapos in 1 minute merong 60 seconds. Kaya 60 times 60, 3,600. No? So 10 times 3,600, so we have 10 times... 3,600. Okay. So, this that is equal to 36,000. No? 36,000 seconds. So, solving here for our charge, so itong time, ilipat na natin ito sa kabila. So, magmultiply yan. So, we have I times T is equal to Q. No? So, yung I natin is 10 amperes. No? Habang yung ating uh, time is 3,000 at uh, 36,000 seconds. So we have 10 times 36,000. No? 10 times 36,000. So the unit for charge is column. Kaya C yung nasa ano natin choices. So that is 360,000. No? So our Q is equal to 360. Para bakit may space. So, 360,000 colon. So, this is our Q. So, yan yung answer natin, which is letter B. Letter B yung ating answer for this problem. No? Next. Okay, so we have a cell whose EMF, so... EMF is stands for electromotive force. No? Yung ibig sabihin ng EMF. Has an internal resistance of 4 ohms. So, what current will flow if this cell is connected across a uh, 1 ohm resistor? Okay, solution. So, dito, kasi it, it now involves a complete circuit. So, dapat gumawa tayo ng circuit diagram. No? Okay, so our EMF or our EP, no? so this is our voltage source, so that is 1.45 volts. Tapos, meron tayong naka-series na internal resistance, so that is our R. No? Kapag internal resistance, kadalasan na ginagamit na ano dyan, symbol dyan is small letter R. 
So this is 4 ohms. Okay. Tapos ito yung connected natin na 1 ohm resistor. No? So this is R. This is equal to the 1 ohm na resistor. So ang hinahanap is the current. No? The total current. Okay. So siguro gawin natin pula. No? Para ma-highlight na ito yung hinahanap. Okay. So, kasi series, series circuit lang to, so we know that our current is equal to the voltage source over the total resistance. So, kasi series, so our total resistance is yung sum lang ng dalawang to, no? yung total ng dalawang resistances natin. So, R plus R. Okay, so we have the given is 1.45 volts for our voltage source or total voltage. Tapos, yung R natin na small is 4 ohms. Habang yung ating ano naman, R na malaki, no, is 1 ohm. Okay. So, using a calculator, parang nawala yata yung calculator ko sa screen. No? So, i-enable muna natin yung calculator. Okay. Ano ba yun? Oops. Ayan. Calculator. Ayan. Okay, kita na. So, we have 1.45 divide. So, parenthesis tayo dyan, no? Kasi group to, eh. Group yung ano natin ito. Ito, group to, group. Okay. So, 4 plus 1. Okay, so. This is equal to 0 0.29, no? So, yung ating current is equal to 0 0.29 amperes or approximately equal to 0 0.3 amperes kapag run off natin. So our correct answer is letter D, you know? Okay. Next. Okay, kasunod. Okay. So a voltage source across the terminal of a 2.0 resistor stat. Okay, so parang kulang yung problem ha. A voltage source across a terminal of a 2.5 you start calculate the power dissipated in the uh, rheostat. So, wala tayong ano, voltage. No? So, we just um, skip this one no? kasi hindi naman tayo masasolve. No? If, if, if in case na ganito yung labas sa exam, so, do not skip. No? Huwag niyong uh, i-blank yung paper niyo. So, just shade no? kung ano yung uh, guts niyo or kung ano yung iniisip niyo na yun ang tama. No? Because sayang din. Kunya, baka matyambahan. So, isang check din yun, no? isang point din yun. Okay, so let's just move on, no? Okay, ito. So what is the diameter of a copper wire having a cross cross sectional area of uh, 3969 cm? Okay, so solve natin to, no? Solution. So, we know our CM is equal to D squared. Yung D natin dito is naka mils. So, if we are going to get the mils, so D is equal to the square root of CM. So, square root of 3,969. Okay. So, using our calculator, so we have square root of 3,969. Okay. This will be equal to 63, no? 63. Pero ito, naka mils. No? Mils. So, if we are going to convert this one is inches, no? So, 63 mils. So, we have 1 inch is to 1,000 mils. So, cancel yung mils. So, we have 63 divide 1,000. No? So, that is equal to 0 0.063 so 0 0.063 inch so tinatin yung mils natin so yung inch wala yung mils wala din no so either it is, so natira niya is either mm lang siya talaga okay so 0 0.63 inch so i convert natin yan into centimeter so 2.54 centimeter is to 1 inch no Dito na natin yung ano, sobra na C. Ayan, 1 inch. Tapos, yung ating 1 cm is, ano, 
10 mm is to 1 cm. So matitira natin na ano dito, unit is in ano in mm. Okay. So we have 0.63 or 0.063 pala hindi 0.63. So kulang din ang 0, no? Okay. So 0.063 times 2.54 times 10. Okay? So we have 1.6602, no? 1.6602, 1.6002 pala, no? 1.6002 mm or approximately equal to 1.6 mm. So the correct answer is uh, letter a, no? Okay. Next. If 18 resistances, each of a value of 26 ohms are connected in parallel, so find the total resistance. Okay. Solution. Okay. So, pag ganito, yung 18 na resistance, nakakonect siya in each value of 30, uh, 26 ohms. No? So, siguro hindi to 26. No? Check ko muna dito sa kubya ko. Okay, so, this is 36 pala. No? Okay, 36 ohms. Yan. So, pag ganyan, so the total resistance is just equal to the value of the given resistance Rn tapos kung ilan siyang number of pieces. So, this is N. Okay. So, we have Ra natin is equal to 36 ohms. Tapos, yung, an, yung ating number of resist resistances connected in parallel is 18. No? So, we have 36 divided 18. So, this will be 2 ohms. So, the answer is letter B. Okay. Next. A small light bulb with a resistance of 1,000 ohms is connected across a 120 volt line. What is the current through the bulb? So this is just a very basic, no basic na ohms law. Getting the current. So ohms law, so current is equal to voltage over the resistance. So our voltage is 120 volt, no? 120 volt over 1,000 ohms. No? Yan yung ating resistance. So, you have 120 divide 1,000. So, we have 0 0.12, no? 0 0.12 amperes. So, this is letter B, no? So, next. A 200 volt lamp has a hot resistance of 400 ohms, no? So, what is its power rating in watts? Okay, solution. Solution. So, we know that power is equal to voltage times the current. So, sa instance na to, wala tayong current. So, yung I natin is gagawin natin in terms of the voltage and the resistance. No? So, by Ohm's law, current is equal to voltage over resistance. So, we will have voltage times voltage or E times E. That will be E squared over R. So, our E is 200 volts square natin yan. No? Over 400 ohms. So, we'll now get the answer in watts. No? So, 200 squared divide 400. So, that is equal to 100, no? 100 watts. The correct answer is letter B. Okay. Next. A 0 0.4 farad, no? So, di, so this could be a capacitor, no? Has a charge of 0, uh, 20, uh, 20 micro coulomb, no? How much is the voltage across it? So hanapin natin yung voltage across our capacitor. Okay, so we gawin natin first is we will analyze this one, no? So, siguro gawa natin ng ano ng ano dyan, uh, diagram no so yun natin capacitor dito no? so 
So, yung kanyang uh, capacitance is equal to 0.4 microfarad. Habang yung charge na, na pupunta sa kanya is 20 microcoulomb. So, ang hinahanap dito is the voltage, you know, the E. Yan yung hinahanap. Okay. So, we know that um, capacitance is equal to the, ano pala? Yung ano pala dito? Yung tawag doon? Yung charge, no? We know that the uh, the charge So, capacitance, no? So, yung capacitance natin is equal to the charge over the voltage. So, meron tayong voltage at charge sa given. So, our charge is 20 coulomb habang yung capacitance natin is 4, 0.4 microfarad. So, hinahanap lang natin is the voltage. No? No? So, we just uh, manipulate this equation. So, ilipat natin dito to yung ating voltage. Ilipat natin dito habang yung capacitance ilipat natin sa kabilang side. So, we have voltage is equal to the charge over the, the capacitance. So, we have 20 microfarad. So, that's 20 times 10 to the power of negative 6. So, ito yung value ng micro over 0 0.4 micro Parad. So, that's what I score on. No? So, 20 microfarad times 10 to the power of negative 6 farad. No? So, ito, column, this is for the capacitance. Sabang yung F naman is farad. Yung C, yung column pala is for charge. No? Habang yung ano naman, farad is for capacitance. So, medyo na, ano, nagulo ng konti. No? Okay, so, but it's just have this one. No? Ikalagyan lang natin to. So, we have 20 micro column for charge over 0, uh, 0 0.4 0 0.4 micro or times 10 to the power of negative 6 for farad for our capacitance so we will have 50 volts so that will be our voltage no voltage natin yan okay next mayon a resistor of 3 ohms is connected in parallel with a 1 of 2 ohm resistance. If the combination is connected in series with a 4 ohm resistor, what is the equivalent resistance of the whole uh, combination of 3 resistors? Okay. So this is just a basic series parallel, no? Na ano? P, uh, series, uh, series parallel na circuit, no? So resistors. So solution. Okay. So first we need to have the uh, equivalent di diagram or circuit, no? Circuit diagram. Okay. So ito na parallel. So na parallel dito na resistor is the two ohm resistor. So, this is our 2 ohms. So, so, ito yung R3 natin. 2 ohms. Ang isa naman is 3 ohms. So, this will be our R1. 3 ohms. Na naka-series siya sa ating to R2 pala. R1 which is the 4 ohm resistor. So, ang kukunin natin is the equivalent resistance. So, first... Kunin mo natin dito yung equivalent resistance ng combination na to. So, we call it that one as RE1. No? Okay. So, RE1. So, this is just two resistor connected in parallel. So, we have R2 times R3 over R1. R2 plus R3. So, yan yung ano, formula for two resistors connected in parallel. So, we have... So, we have 3 times 2 over 3 plus 2. So, we have 6 over 5 ohms. Okay. Tapos, i-add natin yan to get the total resistance. Kasi, nangyayari, itong dalawa kasi, yung total resistance nito is naka-series na sa ating R1. Sa ating R1, which is 4 ohms. So, we have R equivalent is equal to R1 plus RE1. 
Okay, so we have 4 plus 6 over 5. No? Okay, so calculate natin yan. So we have 4 plus 6 over 5. So this is equal to 5.2. No? So RE is equal to 5.2 ohms. So yung answer natin dito is 5.2 ohms, which is letter D. Alright, no? so we will continue with another problem. Okay. So how much current is produced by a 60 volt source connected across a 12 kilo ohm no? kilo ohm resistance? Okay. So solution. So this is just also Ohm's law. So I is equals to V E over R. No, I was always thinking of um, uh, E no? for a uh, V for voltage. No? So it's just use E. Okay. So yung ano natin, yung voltage natin is 60 volts. Tapos yung ating resistance is 12 kilo ohm. So 12 kilo that is 12,000. No? Yung kilo. So kilo is 1,000 ohms. No? Okay. So we have. Um, 60 divide 12,000. Okay. So, we have uh, 5 times 10 to the power of negative 3. No? So, 5 times 10 to the power of negative 3 amperes. Yung times 10 to the power of negative 3, yan, that is equivalent to milli. So, our answer could be simplified further to 5 milli amperes, which is letter D. Okay, next. An electric iron. Okay. An electric iron draws 15 ampere at 220 volts. So it is desired to reduce the current to 12 amperes by connecting a series rheostat. So what is the resistance of the rheostat? Okay, so solution. Okay. So yung first condition. So, meron daw tayong ano, um, electric iron. No? Kunyari, ito yung ating diagram. No? Okay. So, yung load natin is an electric iron. No? So, it is connected to a 220 volt supply. Okay. So, this will be our E sub T. So, ito yung ating current. No? Which is equal to 15 amperes. So, dito, ito yung electric iron natin. So, meron tayong resistance dyan, no? In getting the resistance, so, just we just use Ohm's law, no? So, R is equals to E over I. So, yung ating voltage is 220 volts. Habang yung ating current naman is 15 amperes, no? So, we will have 220 divide 15. Okay, it will be equal to 14.67. So, we have 14.67 ohms, no? So, ang gagawin daw, itong circuit na to is maglalagay tayo dito ng series rheostat, no? Okay, so, may namang blow na gamitin natin, okay? So, same yung ating voltage supply, which is 220 volts. 220 volts, so same yan. Pero mayroon tayong isi-series dito na rheostat na hahanapin natin yung value, no? So, RS, no? So, ito yung load natin. Tapos, yung R natin, so the resistance of a, a load will not change, no? Talagang constant yan, uh, regardless of the supply current or the supply voltage. So, from here, ang yung ating supply, yung ating resistance is 14.67 ohms. Tapos, yung ano natin, yung current natin is equal to 12 amperes, no? So, 12 amperes na siya. Pagka-connect natin ang ating rheostat. Okay. So, para ang hanapin natin is ito yung RS. So, to solve for RS, first we need to get the total resistance. So, same pa rin yan, ohms law, RT is equal to the uh, total voltage over the current. 
so we have 220 volts over 220 volts over 12 amperes so using our calculator so we have 220 divide 12 so we will have 18.33 no? 18.33 ohms so yan na yung ano natin total uh, ka, uh, total resistance natin no tapos yung ating total resistance equal din yan sa ating RS itong si residue stat plus our R itong ating resistance ng ating load which is an electric iron so kung isusolve natin yung RS inilipat natin yung R dito no kapag nilipat natin yan magiging negative yan so magiging RT minus R is equal to RS so yung ating RT is 18.33 minus our R which is equal to 14.67 okay so using our calculator again so we have 18.33 minus 14.67 okay so we will have 3.66 so 3.66 ohms yan yung ating RS at yan yung ating answer sa problem na ito which is 3.66 or 3.67, which is letter A. Okay, next. What resistance must be connected in parallel with a 1.0 ohm resistance to give an equivalent resistance of 0 0.2 ohms? Okay, solution. Okay, so, we know kanina, no? Sa mga, sa ating, uh, siguro mga, few problems ago na yung ating total resistance in parallel is equals to R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. So, dito yung ating R equivalent or ating total resistance is equal to 0 0.2 ohms. Habang yung yung given naman natin, sabihin natin yan, yan yung ating R1, so this is equal to 1.0 ohms. So, ang isosolve natin dito is yung R2. No? So, gagawin natin, i-manipulate muna natin tong equation na to after natin substitute yung mga given. So, RE is 0 0.2 ohms. Yung R1 natin is 1. No? Kahit hindi na natin lagay yung ano, yung unit para hindi tayo ma-confuse, no? makaligtuhan. So, this is 1 times R2 over 1 plus R2. So, hindi pa sa kabila. So, you have 0 0.2 times 1 plus R2 is equal to 1 times R2. So, just that, that is equal to R2 lang. No? Then we have 0 0.2 times 1, so that would be 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 times R2, so yeah, that will be 0 0.2 R2 equal to R2. Ilipat din sa kabila, so magiging minus yan. So R2 minus 0 0.2 R2, so matitira dito is only 0 0.2, no? Okay? So, this, this will be 1 minus 0 0.2. So, 0 0.2. So, ito magiging 0 0.8, no? R2. So, solving for R2 now. So, 0 0.8. Divide both sides by 0 0.8. Okay? So, pa-cancel dito. Kaya, ang matitira sa kabila is only R2. No? For this side naman, dito naman, gagamitin natin yung calculator. So, 0 0.2 divide 0.8. So, we have... 0 0.25 no 0 0.25 ohms so ito na yung ating answer which is letter B okay okay next problem 3 120 ohms are connected in parallel series no so what is the equivalent resistance of the combination. No? So, when we say parallel series, so that is connected in, ano yan? Connected yan in, uh, para siya nakakonect in delta. No? So, if you are going to get the total resistance of that one, no? solution. Okay. Solution. So, we have so, parallel series. So, dito meron tayong 120 ohms, no? Ayan. Tapos, may nakas meron naman ditong... Okay. Ito yung blue. Ayan. 
Meron dito isang resistance na 120 ohms din tapos ito na 120 ohms. Ito yung series, ito yung parallel. So ang gawin natin is simplify natin to, we call this one as RA1. No? Tapos ang kukunin natin is the RE. No? So RE1, so ano na to, simple na series circuit. So 120 plus 120, so we'll have 240 ohms. Ito naman, so, kunyari ito yung R2 natin, or R1 pala, R1. Yung R1 natin nakaparalel sa ating RE1. So to get RE, so RE is equal to R1 times RE1 over R1 plus RE1. So two resistors in parallel ang mangyayari ngayon. So we have 120 times 240 over 120 plus 240. Okay, so we now we, we could now solve for our um, equivalent resistance, no? 120 times 240 over 120 plus 240 ohms. So we will have the answer of 80 ohms, which is letter B. Okay? Next, a resistance of 4 ohm is connected in series to a parallel combination of 8 of 2 8 ohms. So the the total resistance is blank. Okay? Solution. So meron tayong isang 4 ohm, 4 ohm resistor. So we call this one as R1 na nakakonek siya in series with a parallel combination of 2 8 ohms no so 2 8 ohms ito 8 ohms ito naman is 8 ohms ang kukunin natin is the total resistance or the equivalent resistance so ito parallel so we call this one as RE1 so yung ating RE1 so pwede tayong gamitin yung formula dito na RN over N, wherein our Rn is the resistance of the resistor. So, kasi equal sa dalawa eh. Kaya pwede din gamitin yung formula nito. So, we have 8 ohm over, so kung ilan siya na equal na resistance na nakakonect in parallel. So, yan yung ating N. So, dito sa ating diagram, 2. So, we have 4 ohm. So, that is our Re1. Okay? So, to get now the the RE or the total resistance so RE is just equal to R1 plus RE1 so we have 4 ohm plus uh, 4 ohm din no? 4 ohm plus 4 ohm so we have 8 ohms no? so that will be our RE which is letter C no? sa ating choices okay next okay what is the equivalent capacitance of two series capacitor rated at 4 and 6 ohm a uh, 6 microfarad respectively you know? solution okay. so when we say a capacitor yung capacitor parang din yang uh, yung series capacitor is the same as uh, parallel resistors no so dito kung we will have our diagram here pala capacitor pala yung symbol nito no? okay yan So we need to find the equivalent capacitance, no? So this will be our C1, which is equal to 4 microfarad. This will be our C2, which is equal to 6 microfarad. So we will now be calculating the total capacitance. So the formula will be the same for the ang formula ng series capacitor is the same sa formula ng uh, parallel resistor. So, our CT is equal to C1 times C2 over C1 plus C2. So, we will have 4 microfarad times 6 microfarad over 6 over 4, ano pala? 4, no? 4 microfarad plus 6 microfarad. Yung micro, that is just 10 to the power of negative 6. So we have 4 times 10 to the power of negative 6. So this is natin to para hindi siya ma-interpret ma yung next na term as um, 
exponent ng ating 10. No? So, 6 microfarad. So, 6 times 10 to the power of negative 6. Over 4 times 10 to the power of negative 6 plus 6 times 10 to the power of negative 6. Okay? So, the answer is uh, 3 over 1 to 5. So, gamitin natin to. So, that is 2.4. No? Okay? So, 2.4 times 10 to the power of negative 6 farad. So, ito, this is equal to micro. So, 2.4 micro farad. So, the correct answer is letter A. Okay? Next. The resistances of four eustats are 10, 5, 7, and 3 ohms, which are connected in series to a battery, which produces a potential difference of 75 across its terminal. Find the current in each rheostat. No? So, kasi naka-series sila. So, equal yung current dito. No? Kasi naka-series. So, ito yung ating equivalent diagram. So, our voltage supply is 75. No? So, our voltage supply is equal to 75 volts. So, una, meron tayo dito ang R1, which is 10 ohms. So, that is, that is our first rheostat. Tapos, may pangalawang rheostat. This is R2, which is equivalent to 5 ohms. Tapos, dito naman, meron tayong isa pang rheostat, which is equivalent, no? RT, which is equivalent to 7 ohms. Habang yung last natin, R4. Okay, which is equivalent to 3 ohms. So, ang hanapin natin is the current for each. No? The current for each of the rheostat. Ano yung current na nag-flow? Of course, they are series. So, equal lang yan. So, kung ano yung current dito, ito din yung uh, current na nasa R4. No? Kung ano yung current na nasa R2, yan din yung nasa R4. No? Okay, so, it's, it's just basic ohms law. No? Kung, kung saan yung ating current, our current, is equal to the total voltage over the total resistance. So, yung total voltage natin, so that is the supply, habang yung ating total resistance is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4. So, bakit total lang yan? Or naka-plus yan kasi series resistors. No? Okay? So, we have uh, 75 volts over 10 ohms plus 5 ohms plus 7 ohms plus 3 ohms. Okay? So, we have 75. So, divide 10 plus 5 plus 7 plus 3. Okay? So, the answer is 3. Current. So, that is 3 amperes. So, that is letter D. Okay? Next. How much is the load current for a 100 watt incandescent bulb to a 120 volt power line? Okay? So, basic ohms law lang din. Ulit, no? Okay? So, we have I is equals to E over R. So, from the given, our voltage is 120 volts. Kaso, wala tayong R. Of course, wala tayong R kasi ano pala? Yung given pala is watts. So, okay. ang gagamitin natin is the power formula instead of using the Ohm's law. No? So, we have P is equals to E times I. So, we are looking for the current. So, current is equal to uh, the power divided by the voltage. No? So, kasi ito, ililipat din sa kabila. So, mag-over mag siya or i-divide siya doon sa power. Okay, so we have 1,000 watts divide, ano, 1,000 divide, 100 watts divide, 120 volts. Huh? Okay, so nawala yata yung calculator ko. Ano na natin dito sa screen? Ayan. Wait, ipan mo labas. Ang, okay. Okay. 
Yan. So we have. Sa na ba yun? 100 divide 120. So we have 5 over 6 or 0 0.83. 833. To 0 0.833 amperes, which is letter B. Okay?